packing everything. Yes, you did the pack. <laughs> Isa Airways Partner di Skyteam è lieta di darvi il benvenuto a Tel Aviv, sono le ore 14 e 20 minuti ora locale. Da questo momento potete accendere il vostro telefono rimanendo comunque seduti con le cinture allacciate fino a quando il segnale luminoso verrà spento. Vi raccomandiamo di aprire le cappelliere con cautela per evitare la caduta di oggetti e di non dimenticare effetti personali nella tasca della poltrona di fronte a voi. Al fine di garantire la vostra sicurezza vi invitiamo a mantenere la mascherina indossata, a raccogliere i vostri effetti personali e a raggiungere con ordine l'uscita evitando assembramenti. Vi ringraziamo per la collaborazione. I passeggeri che hanno fatto richiesta di assistenza sono pregati di attendere al proprio posto fino al termine dello sbarco. Vi ringraziamo per aver scelto di volare con Ida Airways e ci auguriamo di vedervi presto di nuovo a bordo, arrivederci Ladies and gentlemen, Ida Airways Sky Team Partner is pleased to welcome you to Tel Aviv where it is now 20 minutes past 2 p.m. local time You may now switch on your mobile telephone For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the fastened seatbelt sign is turned off We recommend you open the overhead lockers carefully as the may fall out and please don't forget personal belongings in the seat pocket in front of you in order to ensure your safety, we invite you to keep the mask over nose and mouth to collect your personal belongings and to reach the exit maintaining the correct distance in order to avoid gatherings. Thank you for your cooperation. sites have been closed, so we won't be able to see most of the sites we... I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, we're heading to uh, Joppa, near, nearby Tel Aviv. Uh, we're only 10 miles away, so soon we will join uh, the main highway, number one. Road one, it's the main road connecting Jerusalem with Tel Aviv. So the opposite direction is Jerusalem, about 30 miles away up on the mountains and of course we'll get there in a few days uh, so we'll start with Tel Aviv Joppa um, lunch and we'll see what time we will get to Netanya area Let me show you. 
should know that Hebrew is like a kind of a body language. Israelis, they use their hands a lot and sometimes it goes very loud, especially when they discuss politics, <laughs> you know. So, but that's the way it is. It's like Italian or Greek, uh, very emotional. You know? Israelis are also very uh, much, uh, you can say, outdoor people. They like to travel, like Shabbat. If it's a nice day, you'll see Israelis traveling everywhere. Cars. We are not manufacturing cars in Israel. They're all imported, mainly from Korea, Japan, and some American cars here and there. See the uh, plate number is yellow, but when we travel through the West Bank, you'll see different plate numbers. So Tel Aviv by itself, it is not the largest city in Israel. By itself, Tel Aviv, 450,000. But with the cities around, it's big. It's like a million uh, point three, something like that. Which is a small neighborhood in Dallas, right? <laughs> but altogether, it is like the most inhabited area in Israel, Tel Aviv area. The largest city, Jerusalem, 850,000, close to 900,000. Now, what is the population of Israel total? nine million without the Palestinians okay those who live in Gaza and the West Bank Israeli citizens about nine million uh, majority are Jewish people close to 80 percent are Jews six and a half million something like that and then remember we have the Muslims the Arab Muslims a uh, million point uh, seven hundred thousand Christians very small number and then we have other minorities, we'll get maybe to talk about them a little bit. Bedouins. Bedouins are, are people who live in desert areas. Uh, you get to see a few. And Druze. Druze. D-R-U-Z-E. We'll get to meet them uh, on Mount Carmel, Golan Heights area. Small community of Druze. And Samaritans. Samaritans, but Samaritans... Uh, they live in the West Bank, 900 uh, of them, and in Israel we have also a similar number. my jacket off but I'm wearing linen pants and we just had really good Yemeni food that basically just tasted like a Greek pizza it was very very good but I'll show you guys where I am Nikki say hello, hello. <laughs> god it's so hot dude it's like 95 degrees here the sun is beating down on us and I have to wear pants because it's a holy city. Holy city. The basic LA girl in me had to ask for...
cases to look for my shit. This is the kitchen. It's literally such a cute Airbnb. This is the bathroom. We're obviously in Israel, so it's not like that nice, but everything else is like adorable. Look, this is the living room area. We have so much space and it's great because like, I just want to be able to have room to roam around when I'm drunk, <laughs> lol. And this is the cute little patio area. I will not be spending any time here because I'll be at the beach bronzing my skin. But this is what it looks like. Honestly, really cute. And then this is the bedroom. This will be my sleeping partner. Say hello to my wife, hello. Nikkei. Obviously, a full length mirror is essential to be annoying thoughts. Just kidding. <laughs> and vanity area. the view of Tel Aviv. Skyscrapers. Okay, so I'm gonna do a very quick vlog outside. I literally haven't posted anything because I've been away. I'm in Israel and I've been here for like two and a half weeks and it's been super awesome. But I just wanted to showcase to you guys what I brought on this trip. I'm outside, I'm ready to hit the beach, but I'll do it right now here in my little balcony. My Airbnb is so cute. Let's get started, I suppose. Okay. Like I literally leave tomorrow and I'm so, so sad.
So I have extremely sensitive eyes and I always have to wear goggles no matter where I go, what I do that go in the water and I also wear contacts so I just always look like a buffoon and I just don't care. <laughs> This is Yemeni food, some cheese concoction with like flatbread. Yeah. The basic LA girl in me had to ask for 
amazing like plant-based foods so we're gonna go get almond milk smoothies because everything here has dairy which is unfortunate for me because I have I am lactose intolerant Hello. hi get out of my vlog I'm a ton smile yeah. Hello guy, Hello. smile, so that's poor guy. What about One moment, Mookie. Bus driver, hello. Matan, our bodyguard. Caesarea. King Harold Journally were a guy that he was a Jewish. He was a Jewish. He was converted. Shh. He was converted. His grandfather was conver converted to Judaism for to Judaism by the Hashmonai, and he became to be the king of the Jews. The Romans decided that they want to bring somebody that the Jews are going to listen to, and somebody that they, they can rely on. So they took king. They took Herod. They teach him how to be king. They bring him like a very big massive of. A uh, group of soldiers to control the population over here. They gave him a lot of money to control it, and he came to Etisad. He came over here, he took over the crown, and he became to be the king of the Jews. I'm talking about 2,000 years ago. Sababa? Sababa.